You've probably seen rugs like these around your family and friends' homes, but have you ever wondered how they're made? We're joined by Margaret Araj, and she's here to show us how to make these beautiful rugs. And you are from Mill River Rugs in Northampton, is that right? That's right. Margaret, you are so talented. These rugs are stunning, and I never realized just how much work goes into making just one. Uh, it's a lot of loops. When you're doing it yourself, <laughs> one person. How long does it take you to make one rug like that? Uh, a rug the size that we have over here it will take about 200 hours. So about a couple of months. For one? Uh, I work about three hours a day. Wow. And yeah, what do you do? Do you do, do, do watch TV? Do you listen to music? What yeah, is your it, ritual? I have about an hour that I do in the morning in my studio. And then in the evening, I'll spend a couple of hours watching TV and just sitting there hooking away. Now, and that's you, how it goes. We did a little preview. Well, you yeah, showed me yeah, a little bit yeah. before we were live. And I could see it as being so therapeutic. When I don't yes. have two, two kids running around yeah. and I have a little more time, I, I would pick this up as a hobby. It's wonderful. It and is. the result you get is just stunning. Thank you. Thank I you. certainly would need a lot more practice to be as good as you. Now, you're going to demonstrate how to do it. I am. Do you use a certain type of yarn? Uh, actually, I do. I use uh, what's called rug wool yarn, and it's yarn that's uh, not supposed to be next to your skin. You wouldn't want it next to your skin. It's from tough sheep, mm -hmm. and it's very coarse and strong. So if you put a rug down on the floor, then it would uh, be the right material for it. Right, and it can withstand yeah. a little bit more. That's right. That's right. Where? Yeah. So now you're going to demonstrate exactly how to hook with I the am. yarn. Okay. I am. Okay. So. In order to do this, you need to have uh, uh, some kind of frame to hold the material tight. Now, I have a frame to make a big rug, but if you're a beginner, you could have a simple uh, embroidery hoop. And mm -hmm. I put the uh, material in here, it's linen, and uh, you just tighten it up so it's something like a drum. Mm -hmm. So here, here I have my rug that is started. All right, and I will put it on my frame. The frame has cotting strips that mm -hmm. have sharp uh, edges there to catch the material. Okay. All right. So we'll tighten it up till it's like a drum, and then we're ready to hook. All right. So you can okay, get so your hook. Okay. So this is my hook. hook. Yeah. And my yarn. Here's your yarn. Okay. Look at this design. Now this design, yeah. you can just draw something. You can draw anything. You can trace things. I'll just show you this. Here's. I use this. It's a garden blanket material. Uh, to use as a tracing material, and then I put it down here, and I use a sharpie, and the ink goes through and through. makes yeah. the design. Wow. Okay, so that's how I get the designs on here. Okay. But now to hook, so I'll just take uh, right-handed, so the left hand will go under here, right. and the right hand up here, and very simply, I'll go fishing, that's why I tell the kids, <laughs> all right, and bring the tail up to the top, so no knots in this, okay? So just a tail, and then I'll start hooking, and which is basically just to pull up loops, not too high. If they go too high, I'll do a high one. I can pull it down again. Right. You make this okay. look so so much easier than you it is. It's it. not that easy. It's hard. No, there you go. Look at that. No. Now I yes, got the hang of it. Yes, that's great. Thank that's you. great. You're a great teacher, that's Margaret. That's great. You make me feel good about myself. I, I, and you can range anywhere. It's like uh, coloring. And you can make up your mind that you want to finish a leaf or you want to go over to this side. And, but it's all about color and design. Uh, it, there are, you can see my basket of yarns. And it, there are many uh, yarns that are the same, uh, different shades of red, different shades of green. So you use those for outlining and to give it more uh, dimension. Yeah, and they're, they're just there we go. stunning just colors, hooking. so vibrant. And this is something that's easy for people that don't have the greatest use of their hands anymore, that they can just go up and down. It's a little bit easier for them. And, of course, the result is gorgeous. And you know what I just thought of? You could, if you can customize the design, you could actually make something with your own handwriting. That would be a nice gift. Yes, you could. And what I'd like to say, too, is that you don't have to look at the holes here. So it's not for people who uh, are worried about their eyes or say that's too... No, the hook will tell you where to go, that you just go, you pack them in uh, kind of close together, but so it not have every to be hole. every hole, right. So no, not every closely. hole. Well, I, if Seth was here, he could finish hosting the show. 
and I could finish <laughs> yeah. my design because I have to say, Margaret. Look at you. Let me see. You, you've introduced me That's to fabulous. A, something That's fabulous. that I really am really enjoying. I know. I'm and glad. And you're so talented. So I'm glad. Great teacher, too. Well, and you can tell I have a very good time. Yes, yes, you do. Doing I, I what do I do. Too. Let's yes. let's keep doing this. We'll chat and we'll hand hook our rugs yes, for our designs. Thank that's you great. for showing everyone how to do this. It's amazing and you do great thank, work. Thank you. Appreciate you being here. Thank you. Coming up tonight, you can catch a special